Check out our forums at http colon forward slash forward slash crapnetwork.com slash forum. Our forums are proudly sponsored by CigarGeeks.com. CigarGeeks.com is one of the largest cigar communities online. You can also download the Cigar Geeks app for the iPhone or Android mobile platforms. Check them out at http colon forward slash forward slash CigarGeeks.com. What's up, beer drinkers? This is Long Ashes, and this is the Crap Beer Show, part of the Crap Network. God, scare me. <laughs> and uh, I guess with me as always is Gray Ashes. Horse Carney! And uh, Poncho over there. What's up? Nubs. Hey! hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and Ring Gage. Yo. Like, yo. Yo, 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 yo. What's <laughs> up? I'll tell you what's up. Black chocolate stout. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> As you guys can tell, that's right. <laughs> We're kind of happy is you. about this beer. Is you? We're happy because it's got to be better than the last one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just had a beer last time that was a uh, maple flavored beer. You guys have probably seen that review. If not, check it out. Yep. Uh, Pretty horrible. So yeah, th this yeah. one we're looking forward to. It's a, a Brooklyn Brewery's Black Chocolate Stout. It's 10% ABV. Uh, we couldn't. They didn't have the IBUs online, so I don't know what those are, but. This is apparently a, a winter seasonal, and it's in a, a Russian imperial style, much like the uh, the Sam Adams imperial style that we had reviewed before. Yeah, a really good tasting one. So uh, looking forward to this one. I bet this is gonna be pretty good. We've all smelled it already. I think some of us said that there was like some faint sweetness in there. Yeah, it was like yeah. Sure. I hope it opens up in the glass. I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I think we just do the pour. Yeah. Okay. Check it out. Pour a little, like about halfway or so. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Jesus. Christ. Like oil. Now I, now, I see, now I see where the freaking black comes in, man. Yeah, it's like dark. Holy thick. crap. Oh my god. It's a little bit looking that's like black. Dude, dude, that's like black, like black coffee. coffee. Yeah. Like, that's, god. Like, that's not even like black coffee. That's like oil. That's dude, like, dude. It's like oil pouring out your bottle. That's <laughs> fucking. Dude, that's, 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 that's like black, black, that's black. That's thick. darker than Coca Cola. That's black gold. Yeah. That's like Texas tea. It's like there's, dirt, there's hardly it's like any dirty head. Oil. It's like dirty oil. Like you like release it out of your car if you haven't done an oil change in a while. Like wow. Like, the smell really opened up. Yeah, it did. Wow. You can, you can smell that chocolate. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> hey, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> God, this smells really good. Smells like a Hershey bar. <laughs> 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 oh, God. 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 Just a look of how thick it looked. It just 
Oh, I've never seen anything quite like that. Punch shut up. Whoa. Right. <laughs> 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 Enough talk. Let's try this shit. Oh. Sweetness, like a cream. <laughs> at at I first, get the chocolate, yeah. maybe even like a coffee. Well, See, at first, I get all of that the sweetness, the cream, the coffee, then the alcohol kicks in. There's almost like a light mm-hmm. sweet taste on the back end of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we thought those brushes were good at making vodka, apparently. We <laughs> 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 were wrong. Wow. Okay, I must say, this is fucking good. Mm, holy grail. It's, yeah, holy fucking grail. Oh, yeah. I mean, this, it's. I don't even like coffee. Yeah, seven ninety nine for ten percent for a four pack. Yeah, for ten percent ABV. I think I Maybe might that's... be uh, picking some of these up next week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, beer. I don't oh, know that I can drink the, like a ton of these, but yeah, dude, this would be perfect. Yeah, dark cigar. Oh hell dude, yeah! Dude, if you drink, if you drink that whole four pack, you you'd be feeling it. Oh yeah, you'd be lit up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Forty percent alcohol. <laughs> See, so th- that's what I don't get. Most people they buy this cheap ass fucking beer, Coors Light, Natty Light, Keystone. They spend like what fifteen dollars for a thirty pack. Yeah. Okay. You gotta drink all thirty of them just to get somewhat decently drunk. Mm. When you can <laughs> go to the store. Get for the expert. <laughs> punch. Go ahead. Punch. Punch. Come on, punch. No. Punch okay. Presents. Okay, so like if I if I bought like a thirty pack of Keystone, I could probably get hammered off of about fifteen or sixteen, like gone bliss done. Okay, now would you pay? Okay, s- let me let me let me let me specify, depending on how quickly I drank them. If I drank that like fifteen over the course of an entire day, no, probably not. But like if I drank them like at a party in just like a couple of hours, yeah, I'm gonna be hammered. <laughs> Fifteen in a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now see, oh, like, see this is what I don't get. It's like it's like people who spend like fifteen dollars for a thirty pack, right? It's kind of like you know, it's shitty fucking beer. Tastes like shit. So why not save a little bit of money? Okay, yeah, exactly. The other bowel movement. Why not spend just eight dollars, buy a four pack of this delicious black chocolate stout? 10% ABV, drink f- only four, and get fucked up. Instead of drinking 15 or 18 Keystones or Natty Lights. Well, or here's the thing. All right, here, I, have an answer, I have an answer to that. And, and it's a, if you're at a party, like, let's, like if you're getting drunk, you're probably at some kind of a party, right? Yeah. If I'm trying to get drunk at a party, I know I'm probably going to be drinking a lot of beers. I don't want to just drink four beers and then call it quits. So yeah. if I'm drinking, if I'm drinking like eight, nine, ten beers, I don't want to drink something that has a high ABV because I know I'll just get blackout drunk. <laughs> and I know I drink fast too, yeah, so yeah. so I have to drink something that like a Miller Light. Like no, I don't drink Keystone or anything like that, but like a Miller Light is is a not anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Tried to for truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Freaking cigar fest, man. Cigar fest. <laughs> he had that shit in his pockets. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> as soon as we got there, he popped one of them. It's the first thing he did. But, uh, but yeah, no, if I'm at a party, I want to be able to drink a, a, a good amount. Now, if I'm just going to like a gathering where I know I'm going to get a little buzz but not drunk, I'll take like a six pack of some uh, craft brew. Yeah. But if I'm, wa- if I'm planning on getting wasted, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring like a twelve pack of Miller Lite. Yeah, uh, it makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, but like, yeah, I think this should should be the, savored, man. The uh, I don't think you should drink this. The aftertaste of the black chocolate stout. You take a drink, you wait about a couple minutes. I can actually there's a remnants of like 
coffee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's left over in your mouth. There's remnants of like a coffee flavor. Oh, it's excellent. I mean, so, it's in your I mouth mean, that you just taste it so many different things. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like cream, uh, sweet. It's like a flavor sweet. explosion. Reminds me of the Yeah, it's really good. Really, yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. yeah. This is on Paul with Creme Brulee with Southern Tier, man. Damn. This is good, though. It is. It really is. It really yeah. is, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Now it's the creme brulee. Right, every, everything this? from the pour yeah. and the smell. Really? The taste, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. top to bottom. I don't think there was a bad thing about this. No, yeah, I don't think I could. No, there's I don't nothing yeah. bad about this. With the, even yeah. the price. I mean, damn. Yeah. Right. yeah. Everything is. Good. Good. Well, this is the type of beer we're looking for for our viewers. That's mm-hmm. right. You know what I mean? Seven ninety nine for a four pack, ten percent ABV. Nothing wrong with this beer whatsoever. When you're when you're looking I mean, for a holy grail, I, I mean, this this is the very definition of yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great fucking price. Great beer. Mm. I mean, there's great, nothing wrong with great it. Great fine, great ashes. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. How do you look? And uh, Brooklyn Brewery. Yeah. Good That's job, Brooklyn. Is. Yep. Good job. They have a Brooklyn in Russia. A <laughs> 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 small world. You don't want to fuck around. Huh? You don't want to fuck around, man. Yeah, man. Uh, no, yeah, exactly. Got some of them Bronx motherfuckers living in Russia, man. Yeah. <laughs> the Russian Bronx? They're even meaner than the Bronx in New York. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's also got a got a unique uh, label design on it, too. Yeah, I, I kind of like the label as well. Yeah, kind of plain, but it has, you know. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like a fancy type yeah. of uh, it's, 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 it's got a little bit of character. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess you mentioned this is a seasonal beer, right? So it's only brewed in the winter, right? Yes, it's yeah. only brewed in the winter. Right. So yeah. go get some while you can. Uh, right. It says, in the last century, British brewers made strong stouts for the Tsar's court. They were called imperial stouts. Our black chocolate stout brewed once yearly for the winter season achieves a chocolate aroma and flavor through the artful blending of six varieties of black chocolate and roasted malts. You know what? It's fucking 100% fact in this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it advertises. Oh, yeah. 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 And I appreciate that, especially after all this. Oh, heck yeah, man. Oh, yeah. 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 It's good stuff. Hardly you all ever find a beer like this. Honestly, I this mean. is what should be in a Guinness glass, not Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to Guinness, but this is a true style. Yeah, yeah, this is a true Guinness style. Guinness is like watered down compared to this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, holy fucking grail. Holy grail. Holy, holy grail. grail. Holy, holy yeah, fucking grail. Yeah, holy yeah. fucking grail. Yeah. Good job, Brian Leary. You missed out on a good beer, buddy. Yeah, you did. You missed out. You gotta rub it in for him. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you, no. I'm kind of glad he wasn't here, though, because we got more of it. <laughs> Damn. You say you gotta rub broadly? <laughs> what did you say? No, we didn't no. say nothing about rubbing broadly. You can rub it into broadly. <laughs> rub, rub, uh, rub, broadly. Uh, On that note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this Maybe is, uh, he's funny. What didn't come? <laughs> Continue to search for more Holy Grails available like this one. Hell. <laughs>